Hi everyone, Julie back again for another Sunday snippet. This week I thought I'd jump over to Lightroom and have a look at the um, updated version. Um, most of it hasn't really changed that much apart from they've added this really cool color grading tool. Um, so you'll find that under the HSL and color palette. If you don't have it, then just right click here and you can expand all so that you can see it. Um, I've just got mine set in solo mode, but it automatically just popped up in mine. So um, having a little look at what we can do in here. So we can either do um, the midtone shadows and highlights in the one panel here. We can go over to the shadows, midtones and highlights and do them all individually and have a little bit more color um, grading control so we can um, play with the blending the balance the luminance and things like that and then we've also got the global um, changes that we can make so if i really wanted to um, make this more of a, a blue cool image i could do that globally um, and i can adjust the luminance so i can keep that there um, so that's with the global if you come over to here we can actually come in and I can adjust the mid-tones and the highlights, etc. separately. So if I wanted to warm the highlights up a little bit, I could do that um, just by sliding. So if I go all the way up, it becomes almost a sepia. So we're talking about really, really subtle changes. If I wanted to really cool it down, I could take it around to the blues. So I've almost got like a monotone feel to it. So that's putting blues in the highlights. I've already got blues in the shadows. I could come around to my mid-tones and I could really put some blues into my mid-tones as well. And it then becomes a real monotone image without having to go to black and white. But you don't have to necessarily do it that way. I'm just going to jump back into my history panel there. So if you want to, um, these are pretty much the same. So if you wanted to put a hue in, you could click on that. You could get a specific hue if you wanted to, for instance. Um, you could um, pick on, say, blue or yellows or whatever. So you get like a real sepia look to it if you wanted to. You can move these around. Um, this is a guide as to which color it is. This is how much color you're putting in and then you've got your luminance so how dark or how bright the colors are going to be affected within the shadow regions and of course you can um, change your balance so you've got more shadow less shadow and you've got your blending as well if you want to jump over to your mid-tones, then you've still got all of that as well. So you could change your mid-tones into more of a blue or into the greens. Keeping it subtle is probably better unless you're looking for a specific look. Um, so you can say if I want to put a bit more pinks in my mid-tones, then I could blend that off between them. And then you've still got your luminance and so forth. And then, of course, you've got your highlights as well. So you can really sort of play around with what you want to do. Um, if you uh, have anything that is white, that you want to look more white and really crisp, if you add a little bit of blue into it, it does tend to um, brighten up the whites a bit. So that's it for the color grading tool for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.